Hey YouTube, it's Penny. Well, I have some exciting news. Um, it's finally arrived. Uh, the the Sefer uh, is a book of scripture that David and I have had the privilege of participating in bringing to the world, and uh, we're super excited. So I'm going to show you the book, and then I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. So uh, it's big. Here's the see if I can do this right. So it's a very large book. It weighs about I think, seven or eight pounds. Um, it's just gorgeous. It's leather bound, has the, um, the satin page holder. I'm going to bring you several screenshots of the inside of the book, which would be a lot easier than me trying to open it for you. Um, do this backwards upside down thing. But, um, let me tell you what it says on, on the website. Uh, so that I've been working with um, a web designer to get this website ready and you know these projects always take a little longer than you think they're going to but um, we're finally ready to start taking orders so the Sefer is the most complete and accurate English translation and transliteration of sacred scripture in the world today as such the Sefer sets forth a translation rather than a substitution of the sacred names of the Father Son and Holy Spirit so that's huge. Um, and those of you who watch my videos know that um, I've been reading from predecessors of this book, um, some Hebrew root scriptures. So there's been, I think this is the fourth book now, um, and hopefully the, the final one, we think we finally got it um, right. Uh, so anyway, it also includes the Aleph Tav over 1,400 times. Um, so these two letters have previously been omitted in other English translations. Of the scriptures and we added them back in and so if you go to our website which is safer.net um, you can read on the about us page and it will tell you more uh, about the Aleph Tav and how exciting that is um, to be reincorporated back into the text um, it includes all of the 74 books that were previously canonized as the Bible 74 not 66 so the whole thing you know I mean when I first started finding out about some of these what we would call extra biblical books um you know I had my guard way up and you know you're not supposed to add to or take away anything from the scriptures well okay first of all that was only given to John specifically about the revelation that he received um and if you study history you will see that there were um lots of books that have previously been taken away um, from the scriptures. So we're just restoring them, adding them back into one volume so that you'll have access to all of them. Now, we're not including scriptures um, that we do not believe are um, inspired. So those would include things like the Gnostic Gospels. Um, in fact, recently the Father gave me a dream about something called the Book of Levi. Never heard of that before, but in the dream he warned me against that book. So we've been very careful about um, which books we're including and which books we're not. So, but this does include the books of Enoch and Jubilees as they were found in the Dead Sea Scrolls along with Jasher, uh, Esdras, Baruch, um, Maccabees. So they're all integrated with the sacred names. Uh, it includes, trans, it uh, transliterates over 3,800 Hebrew names without substitution it corrects um, many errors, notorious errors, um, in the KJV, and it it kind of um, instead of these and thous, it has you know you and your and things like that. So it's still the the KJV is the basis, and, and part of the reason for that is because the King James version is considered public domain, <laughs> and so from you know standpoint of a small group like us trying to bring forth you know a, a new version of the scriptures or a renewed version. Uh, you know, we didn't have the money to uh, to buy, to purchase, so we had to use something that was public domain. Um, so anyway, and it, it also restores an accurate order to the the writings. So um, and it's it's well marked to help you find your way. But but if you're like me and you grew up doing you know Bible sword drills in Awana or whatever, um, it's it's not like it's it can be a little more difficult to um, to find your way through this book because um, there, it's more presented in like a chronological order. So I'm going to um, walk you through some screenshots here. Um, 
The first one is I wanted to show you the, um, the table of contents to give you an idea of um, how things are laid out. I, I highly recommend when you get this book that you read the preface. I mean, I don't know about you, but I never read the preface, especially for a, you know, a Bible. Um, it's very important that you read the preface so that you understand the thinking and the decisions um, that were made uh, about you know, how we did things. So uh, take the time to do that. Uh, after the preface, you'll see that we have um, uh, an, a list of all the Hebrew names uh, for you know God, Lord, uh, all of that that you would normally see in an English Bible. And so this has the uh, English translation of the Hebrew names. And we also have the Paleo and Modern Hebrew alphabet and the meanings of each one of the letters. So that's very helpful. We did a, we actually conducted an international logo contest um, for the Safair. And here's a, here's a snapshot. So I don't know if you caught it, but it includes both the Paleo Hebrew Aleph Tav and the modern Hebrew Aleph Tav. And the artwork that we chose for the, um, the homepage of the Safair, actually, I didn't even know it when I chose it, but um, I heard back from the team, it's got the Aleph Tav right in it, so that's pretty exciting. So each one of the books um, will have the the Hebrew name as well as the English name and it and that's always going to be at the top of every page. The, the, the quality of the paper is amazing. That's one of the reasons it's taken us so long to get this published is because we ordered some really high quality paper because you know I mean I don't know about you but I like to write in my Bible and mark it up and we wanted people to be able to you know, use a highlighter without it bleeding through and that type of thing so um, this is a really you know, high high quality product um, that we're very pleased to be able to um, bring to the world. Okay, so as far as how to order and all of that, um, introductory pricing is sixty dollars. Uh, there's a shipping fee uh, anywhere in the U.S. for fifteen bucks. Um, it'll come to you priority mail um, from the you know United States Post Office. And then there's some breakdown. I think it's 45 bucks for Canada and 60 for uh, international shipping. Um, and we accept, you know, credit cards. We're not using PayPal. We're using um, a financial company called Stripe because the the fees are less, but it's still um, it's secured. It's a secure website, so feel safe about that. Um, we will be shipping them uh, actually out of. The, the warehouse space that the father has provided us here where I'm at and so um, I'll actually be your shipping clerk. <laughs> so it was funny because I was packaging the first 25 of the uh, books uh, and as I was doing it I was you know pouring the peanuts into the boxes and you know thinking oh this is kind of you know tedious manual labor Lord are you sure <laughs> you don't have someone else you want to tap for this assignment. <laughs> And it was like he's a shame on you. You know, this is a this is a huge privilege to be able to do this, Penny. And um, you need to have a good attitude about it, and you know, do it with praise on your lips and a song in your heart. And so that's what I intend to do. So um, I will be the one actually shipping these out to you. So uh, visit the the website. Um, we're ready to start taking orders and getting these um, these books out to the world. We're so excited. So. Feel free to, um, you know, post your, your questions. There's also a place on the website that says contact us where you can send um, your comments or questions. And uh, especially if you have, you know, theological, more theological types of questions that are going to be um, above my pay grade, <laughs> that I can run up the flagpole to the rest of the team. That would be the better place to put them. So anyway, super excited about this. I uh, hope you pass the word. Oh, one other thing. Um, so the introductory pricing sixty dollars a piece. The normal retail price will be ninety dollars a piece. However, I've gotten the rest of the team to agree that all um, sales that come from the Not Serene Woman uh, YouTube channel will always receive the introductory pricing. So once the 
that time period expires, I will provide a link in the description box um, for a, a, like a coupon code so that um, my subscribers will always get the $60, you know, reduced pricing. So I hope that blesses you. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, blessed are you, our Lord God, King of the Universe. Amen.